I see? Bring it to the back of my head. Now, did you want to bring up your questions? So you can look down and refer? Do you have any notes? No, actually, I was just going to have you ask me questions, and I'd Ooh. like to see how I respond on the camera. Excellent. All right. And your first name again? Vivian. Vivian. Well, nice to meet you. Vivian, do me a favor. Let's get to the personal questions about yourself. Why did you choose to interview, I'm sorry, yeah, interview with our organization today? I've learned a lot about your organization through uh, community and through my professional contact. And I think your organization fits well with what I would like to do professionally. So when this position opened up, I applied immediately. Wow, excellent. Good. Well, good to have you here. Outstanding. Um, I was looking at your educational background. Why did you choose your major? Well, in my family, chemistry has always been a forte. Mm -hmm. And I've always liked chemistry myself. And it's such a basic discipline that it prepares a lot of students for other careers. So I find teaching chemistry very rewarding in that respect. Excellent. I think you'd be a good fit for this, com for this company. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great. Well, let's hope to hear from you soon. Yeah. Do you hear this? Applaud if you like that. <laughs> nice. Thank you for Should I ask things like a, about the time when I find out about this job? And yes. Like definitely. Like definitely. Right? Right. right. Yes. Yeah. What we're doing with this drilling is trying to get three or four of these hit so you can see a lot of it. Okay? But in the future, yes, you say, you know what, I'm interested in uh, other positions throughout the county. How soon will I be able to hear from this position? So you're totally fine. Feedback. What would you like done differently? What would you have done differently? She said, I think, and maybe you should have said, these values do fit uh, in with, not I think, but they do. So not okay. passive, but yeah. more of the active words. Good. Any other feedback? Good. How posturing? Moving around? You felt comfortable? You didn't she have to? She was looking at the line. Good. That's good. good. Great job. High five. Walk away, girl. Thank you so you much. are welcome. Thank You're welcome. You. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. And how are you? I'm great. And your name? I'm Elaine Fuller Zappi. Hi, Elaine. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in today. Well, I'm, happy to be here. Great. I'm the HR director, and we are trying to fill a position in our HR department. Yes. All right? So, if you don't mind, I'd like to get into how about your experience? What actually qualifies you for the job of our customer service, our front desk person? What qualifies you for that? I have done. Uh, customer service front desk work before in uh, other organizations and so I basically know know the ropes. Wow, great, great. Do you have any experience with uh, difficult people? Have you ever had to? Yes. Oh, good. Tell us about that. Well, there was one person who came in and was very angry and I, uh, and I just listened to this person because I felt that they deserved that respect and uh, it's certainly not a, p a place where one can argue with someone like that. I listened to them and I, um, I didn't really agree with them, but I gave them their space. Mm -hmm. And that helped to diffuse the situation. And they were happier and that, was, worked uh, that worked out. Good. Outstanding. Well, thanks for coming in today. Do you have any questions for the committee? I just drew a blank. That's all right. It's all right. That's going to happen. One question you can give me is, when am I going to fill the position? Um, what are we looking in five years for this position to be? Things like that. Yes. Well, in five years, uh, what do you see this position uh, having developed into? Wow, that's a good question. Well, honestly, we're looking it to be more managerial. We're actually looking for you to hopefully spearhead some new programs. I would love that. Outstanding. Great. That sounds exciting. Thanks for your time again today. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. All right. <laughs> Folks? Yes? Feedback, how did you feel? Talk to me, I know you got an idea. How did you feel? <laughs> very warm. That's a very good attribute. Very warm. Other other feelings. Nice voice tone. Nice voice yes. tone. You could embrace what she's saying. Good, good. Sounded like she was prepared. Thank you. Sounded like she was prepared. You think she used some of the stuff we just talked today and threw it out there real quick? <laughs> if so, God bless you. That's what has to happen. Please have a seat. That's what the was there an area you want to focus on, or can I just go random? You can just go random. Outstanding. All right, so we're listening to the interview. We're trying to see what's coming out of it. I'd like to talk about the educational background that you have. Can you maybe tell us where you've been, what you've done in terms of your academic standing? Sure. Um, my latest degree, I, I'm finished at USD. Mm -hmm. I have a master's 
and counseling, emphasis on career. My bachelor's I did here at uh, San Diego State University. My emphasis was on humanities and my minor was on marketing. Um, I, I, I love school, so I'm always going back, taking workshops. I will be a lifelong learner. Oh, wow. Well, you know what? Because we're trying to fill this faculty position, mm -hmm. talk to me about your teaching modalities. What do you do in the classroom? Okay, I use uh, I use the varied modes because I use verbal, of course. I use tactile, hands-on. I also write information on, on the board, and um, <clears throat> I find out in the beginning of my classes. I do an assessment and I ask my students, "What is your what is your preferred learning style?" So I try and incorporate the various styles that fits in with my students. Outstanding. That's great. Well, you know, we're going to be interviewing a million former candidates within this week, and then we'll let you know how things go. Okay. All right. You have any questions for the committee? Yes. I, I noticed in the mission statement that, um, no, I'm sorry, not in the mission statement, but I noticed that you're looking to expand the department. Where do you see um, your teaching staff fit into that? Good question. Well, right now we're forming committees, and we're trying to identify where we want to go, our direction we're heading in. And if you're hired, we'd like to be, have you part of that committee. Uh, maybe chair it or actually be one of the people that actually help us identify where the program should head. But we are looking to expand it with more sections and more focus on uh, student learning outcomes. All right? Thank Great. you very much. Thank you for coming in today. All right? Thank you. Okay. Well, give us some feedback. What do you oh, think of Joe? Okay. How did that go? Confident. Confident, yes. Mm -hmm. Assertive? Yes. Mm -hmm. Knew what she was ready to say. How was the eye contact? Good. Good, Good eye contact. Do you think? Yes. She was blinking too much, though. Her eyes kept on like, Yeah, I'm a blinker. I know that. Like me. Yes. yes. I'm a blinker. I know that. Good Thank point. Now, how do we control that? And she's moving a little bit. Like yeah. A little bit moving? OK. A little Good. Little bit. Good. Good feedback. Because we don't see that where we're sitting here. We need to hear that. I can't figure out how to stop blinking. Because even when I'm talking to you now, I'm blinking for some reason. And when I see the camera, I'm going to see a 1,000 blinks per second. I can blink maybe 15 times before you know, 10 seconds goes away. I don't know why. OK? Quick question. Does it matter if the hands are on the lap or on the table? Preference. It's preference of the actual candidate. For me, sometimes I put my hands up, but as the interview goes on, five minutes into it, I'll lean back just so I can get a little more comfortable. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter. Both ways are fine. You should have both of your feet planted on the ground mm -hmm. because psychologically it gives you more stability. Wow. I don't know, you know if that is true or not, mm -hmm. but also hands on the table because mm -hmm. it gives you more confident no, posture. Yes, yes. Yeah. I don't put my foot planted because I'm so comfortable doing this. I don't know why. Because then if I need to lean back, I'll put my paper on my lap and look down. So it's all up to your preference. But yes, whatever works for you.